Our top story, an estimated 100,000 Catholics packed St. Peter's Square in Vatican City today for the funeral of the former Pope Benedict XVI. Benedict died on New Year's Eve, aged 95, almost a decade after becoming the first Pope in 600 years to resign. He now also becomes the first former pontiff in the modern history of the Catholic Church to be buried by an incumbent pope. Arise News Chief Correspondent John Cookson was in St. Peter's Square earlier and he joins us now for a, from a live position close by. John, good to see you again. We all saw the splendor and dignity of the Mass. Now, what's happening to Benedict's remains? Hi guys, great to be on the news day. Well, after three days lying in state, we had the, the funeral today, the Requiem Mass for Benedict, and you saw that massive uh, coffin that uh, he was put into, made of cypress wood. His body was placed into the cypress wood coffin last night. Right now, about 500 metres from where I'm standing, uh, they're actually sealing him into a zinc-lined coffin, which will be totally... Uh, sealed with, 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 with solder. Uh, in, inside uh, the original coffin, uh, uh, there's a scroll uh, uh, writing out what his achievements were in life and, and some, some coins, uh, which is to a tradition uh, in, in the Catholic Church. And that zinc line coffin, a little later today, will be placed into another massive wooden box made of maple wood. And then after a short ceremony, lowered into the catacombs beneath the, the Basilica uh, of St. Peter's, where there are the remains of 65 other popes uh, who have died in the past. And the, he will occupy a position uh, that was uh, once uh, occupied by the coffin of uh, John Paul II. He was, John Paul was later moved to another position. But uh, I, I, I think it's a great honour for Benedict to uh, be put in, in into the same place as John Paul, uh, a, a great tribute to uh, his uh, uh, papal leadership. Now, what impact will Benedict's death have on Pope Francis's remaining years in office? Yes, we talk about his remaining years in office, and one thing that struck uh, me about uh, Francis today was how frail he seemed. Uh, he's 86 years old, and uh, as I mentioned earlier, I had the great pleasure of travelling around Iraq with uh, the Pope on a, on a historic visit two years ago. And then, he, even though he had problems with his knees, he, he was still quite sprightly. Today we saw him in a wheelchair, and in fact he couldn't conduct the whole of the Requiem Mass because he wasn't able to stand for a long time today. So he's clearly uh, uh, in, a, in a frail condition. How long will continue as Pope? Uh, We'll have to wait and see. He's indicated that when the time comes, uh, if his frailty gets too much, he will step down. As far as uh, his papacy is concerned, uh, well, Benedict was always an eminence grease behind the scenes after he stood down in 2013. Uh, both popes were at different ends of the spectrum, if you like, in terms of Catholic faith. Benedict uh, being uh, a very, very conservative, uh, uh, Francis more, more radical. Uh, but they, the two men still got on well together, I'm told, by Vatican officials, that they still spoke by phone at least uh, once a week. Uh, Francis took advice uh, on a number of occasions from, from Benedict. And Francis always made sure that Benedict came to important meetings here in the Vatican of, of the Cardinals. So surely Francis will miss uh, Benedict's guidance, so Benedict being a a theologian, a, a man of high intellect, and uh, to that extent, uh, he will miss uh, the guidance that he got from uh, from Benedict. Uh, we'll have to wait and see how the papacy develops. Uh, there are big issues facing the Catholic Church, uh, uh, not least on celibacy, uh, gay marriage, uh, abortion, and other issues. Francis is very much his own man, but uh, he will miss the guidance that he got from Benedict. Well, thank you, John. Benedict's papal term was seen as not without controversy. How do you think history will judge him? 
That's a hard one. Um, I, I think what we can say now is that uh, his uh, papacy was one of um, light and also darkness on the lighter side. As I say, he was a great, great theologian. He steered the Catholic Church down a, a Catholic, uh, a conservative path, path, which many Catholics around the world would, would welcome. On the other hand, uh, uh, there were issues uh, during uh, his term in office. He said, for example, that uh, condoms weren't the answer to Africa's AIDS problem. Uh, he called gay marriage uh, uh, an assault on, on, on world peace. Uh, and there were other missteps which he's had to backtrack track on during his term in office. So there is that side of his term in office. Uh, he is alleged not to have taken enough steps to stamp out child abuse by Catholic priests. My goodness me, what, what a problem that is and what, what an evil it is in, in, in society. He did uh, kick out 400 priests. Uh, from their positions, but uh, uh, many would say that he didn't go far enough on that. Although, on the other hand, uh, and this is the light and the dark that we've got here, he did. He is the first pope to apologise for child abuse, and he's only he's the first pope who met victims uh, of child abuse. So it, it, it's a mixed picture, and uh, as to how history will judge him, I think probably for his theological efforts during the time that he was a cardinal might stand him in better stead as far as uh, history is concerned. Mm, that's interesting. Each pope certainly has their own legacy. And in, in that same breath, uh, Pope John Paul II was made a saint after his death. Uh, is this an honor that you think might be bestowed on Benedict? You're absolutely right. Uh, John Paul II was canonized in, in, in 2013. And to become a saint in the Catholic Church, you have to uh, there has to be proof that you've performed two miracles and uh, according to uh, those in high office uh, he did uh, uh, make uh, two miracles during his lifetime so Paul, John Paul was made a saint. There's no indication though frankly that uh, Benedict carried out any miracles or anything like it. Uh, he was as I say a great uh, uh, intellect for the Catholic Church but uh, I, I, I don't think there are any moves uh, to, to make him a saint now or in the future. He may become, I've heard today, uh, a so-called father of the church, which is a, an honour bestowed on only 30 uh, deceased Catholics so far for his great in intellect and the great steerage that he gave to the Catholic Church during his lifetime. But a saint, I don't think so. Well, thank you so much, Arai's Chief Correspondent, John Cookson. We appreciate your time and analysis as always.